growing up, I, I was the last child of the family, still am. <laughs> and um, that meant uh, being pampered, partly. But for me, it also meant having a lot of time on my own. And I had a lot of past time. One of these was um, looking through the window. Every window in the house had a different feel. From one window, I saw my neighbors, the greetings, the fightings, the sharing, the refusal to share. From another window, I saw the immediate streets. I saw people go out and come in. From that particular window, I one morning saw my father being carted away in a black maria by the military government. My country, Nigeria, had 29 years of military rule. From another window, I could see the bigger streets, one of the biggest roads in Lagos, where I grew up, the largest city in Africa. On that big road, I saw protests, I saw smokes, I saw campaigns. I saw the city literally wake up and close right in front of me. The work that I do now at the Walishenka Center for Investigative Journalism, where I lead the organization, is very much like looking down the window. I have a bird's eye view of my world as a communication strategist. And I look at the world, I look at the various views of people, the various nuances. And I build strategies to help journalists and other people in society better understand the world and understand the links. I have over the years, from my view, watched some elements in my society try to divide by distracting. Some of them politicians failing to meet up with the promises that they made during the elections distract the people. And a lot of time, they distract us based on our differences. My country has at least 180 million people, 250 languages and ethnic groups at least. So it's pretty much easy to divide. So they tell stories with labels. They tell us that you are a Yoruba healer, or an Hausa ritualist, or a Fulani terrorist. They tell us that you're a Muslim rapist, or you're a Christian killer. In the bigger world, it sounds something like an Indonesian trafficker, a Chinese terrorist, an Oman killer. But from my world's view, I understand that only one thing makes these people common. It is crime. But these people leave the issues and they help us to debate the other issues. My job is to help the media understand that there are big issues that, the, that affect the lives of the people. And that when we stay at that level of labeling, we do not get much out of the issues. My work is to help social justice grow in my country. And it's more like, salt in food work. I don't get seen much, but my impact gets felt because I help to train the journalists that do the work. Over the years, I have found that the work that I do is beginning to shape how people report and how people see the issues that they report. The fact that life is inclusive, there are different kinds of people, and the reporter must report in such a way that shows that life is inclusive. And the responsibility it takes to report is what I teach to reporters. The fact that you have to be an ethical reporter to hold your own. It is pretty difficult in my country because there are so many challenges that the journalist faces. In this world of shared communication, where our audience have also become publishers, I've also found my work a bit more difficult because I also have to tell a larger audience that you have a responsibility. When you read, you have to pause, you have to reflect before you share. But it is pretty much easier to tell that to the reporters because they have an ethics of that profession that they have to hold on to. So my life work is to ensure that Nigerian reporters begin to see the issues of health the issues of electricity, the girls and women issues, the issues of education, the issues of oil and gas. And we have a lot of that in my country, by the way. 
begin to see them as things that we can report in such a way that empowers the people, that helps the people to make decisions that will better shape their lives. Begin to hold the government accountable that the labels will not do, that they must make sure that they fulfill the promises that they made at elections. Over the years, I have watched different groups of journalists grow as they begin to learn how important their work is to society. I've also seen the political class grow in their antics to distract and to ensure that we do not focus on those things that bind us together as human beings. So I keep the work going, telling the people that whether you are a Christian, you're a Muslim, you're a traditionalist, you're an atheist, you're male, you're female, or the recent in-betweens, it still is important that you view life, first of all, as being human. And knowing that reporting, first of all, as being human, is what makes all the difference. <laughs> <laughs>